Hello and welcome to Dr. Beck Bunsen's Toxic Laboratory. In this example, we're going to be looking at goals for particles. In this case, why don't we get a little bit closer to the burner so that we have a look at the little flame that is being emitted. I'm just going to toggle off the background so we have a clearer view of what's happening. I've got a null, which is path constraint onto the curve, and it's just rotating around my little clown. Of course, the goals uh, is a nice way of either attracting or repelling particles from it. So what we're going to do is just stop here so we can see the null in clear view. And we're going to set up one goal. It's pretty easy. All you need to do is select the cloud, go under the simulate toolbar, under modify, particles. What do we want to do? We want to add a goal. As soon as you do this, XSI goes into a picking session. So all you need to do is select this one object. What is nice inside XSI is that, of course, you can use any object as goals. That means it can be polygons, nerves, it can be cameras, lights, it can even be other clouds that you can use as goals. In this example here, as my little null is rotating around my simulation, you can see that they are being attracted using one of the behavior that we've got, which is called Hooke's Law. Of course, in this case here, I've got my property page that just opened up, and I've got tons of parameters as usual that I can go and change in there. But in order to see it a little bit better, why don't we go and increase the lifespan of the particles? So my cloud is still selected. I'm going to go under Inspect, Part Type, and it's the flame that I want to pick up. In this case here, what we're going to say is that the maximum life, we're going to increase it to 1.5. This way, we're going to see the effect a little bit better. So there you go. Resimulation is done, and you can clearly see now that the goal is attracting the particles as they're being emitted and when they get really close by. Why don't we just go back one property page? So we're going to go into our goal again. Why don't we do this? switch to my Fort Mimo cam and I'm just going to select my little curve and I'm just going to do a little translation so I can move it you know like away. You can see that as I'm moving the object that my simulation is reacting to it. So why don't we just bring it up you know like all the way up here. What is nice also is that you can have several goals for a simulation. In this case I'm just going to bring up my little sphere. So I've got a little sphere here that is pulsating. We're just going to select it and we're just going to translate it down because I want this to affect my goal as well. So in order to pick it up, what I'm going to do is just stop my simulation for now. I'm going to reselect my cloud and I'm going to say, okay, under the simulate, again, I want to modify the particles and I want to add a goal. This goal is going to be my little sphere. So there you go. As soon as this is done, right mouse click again, and I end up with another property page. We're just going to keep, you know, like the two of them open so that I, I can easily switch, you know, like from one to another. What I want to show you is that, of course, if you want, you know, like to mute one, we can say, okay, the hook goal that we had, you know, like up here, we're just going to mute it for now. We're going to go to the sphere and we're going to just change, you know, like a couple of them. The behaviors we've got, you know, like several of them that can be changed. So in this case here, why don't we go to, um, I don't know, we want to go to a flea. Let's activate the flea and let's do a little playback. You're going to see that now the particles are fleeing away from the sphere because that's the one, you know, that has been set up as being active. Why don't I stop it? At some point I might say, oh, I want to go and change, you know, like another behavior, but, oh, maybe I don't know which one, you know, like I want to choose, what are they doing exactly. Remember, inside XSI, you always have, you know, like this little interrogation mark on the property pages that you can simply click, and it's going to open up a, a, a page that's going to be a reminder of what the different goals are. So we can see here, goal behavior, we've got the chase, flee, the stick, the arrive. So you always have access to the information. In this case here, what one that I might want to try could be the stick. The particles immediately stick on the goal object as they are born. So why don't we try that out? So let's close this little guy and let's go down here and say, okay, I want them, you know, like to stick to my object. Do a little playback you're going to see now that they are emitted 
from the surface of the object. And what is nice is that it can be, you know, like the surface or it can be, you know, like any other parameters that you want. It could be inside the volume, it could be at the center of the object, the point, the lines. If you would have, you know, like a cube, it would be really nice. Let's leave it at the surface for now and just show you that you can also go and change the effect. That means that you can go and decide that, oh, I want to have an offset on the goal where my simulation is going to appear, you know, like up there. So that could be, you know, like one example of something that you want to do. So let's just bring it back down. What I'll do now is that I'm going to stop this little guy. Or before I stop it, why don't we go and change this to, um, I want to have a arrive. I want, you know, like the simulation, you know, like to be getting really close, you know, like to my sphere. So it's going to go in a rotating manner like this. Once I've got that, why don't we just go and do the same with this guy here, the hook lock which we're going to actually activate. What I want to show you in this part here is that we're going to have, you know, like two goals that are affecting our simulation. But what we can do is that we can decide what's going to be the actual effect of one in regard to the other one. With the particle cloud selected, let's go under inspect, part types, and we're going to go under flame again. What I want to show you is where the goals actually reside. If you go here on goals, you're going to see that we've got two of them. You've got the names in regards to hook, and the other one is in regards to the sphere that has been set up. You can mute them, you know, like directly in this property editor. And also what you can do is that you can decide of the weight that you want to modify. We can say that the hook that we've got on top there, maybe we don't want to have as much uh, influence we can reduce it down to 0 0.5 and what is nice is that you can also set some keys for animating those parameters. So this was just, you know, like a simple overview of the goals. You can go and change, you know, like all of these parameters in there and you can have, you know, like some particle systems, you know, that are really amazing.